Hello! Hey guys, and welcome back to Vlogmas. I am doing something completely different and out of my box this time. As many of you guys know, I live not too far from the Oregon coast. My husband loves to fish and crab and all of that good stuff. Today I have, I believe, five crab that he caught yesterday, so super fresh out of the ocean, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to boil and clean your crab so that you can have fresh seafood in your own home. With crab, it's going to be super important that you eat fresh because really you only have a day or two to eat fresh crab and have it taste amazing. It blows my mind, seriously, that there are people in the middle states that go to places like Red Lobster and think that that's what seafood tastes like. So if you live in the Midwest or in a state that's not anywhere near an ocean and you do not like seafood, please just consider giving it another shot when you get to a state that is near the ocean because you will be amazed at how different the seafood tastes if you eat it within a day or two of it coming out of the ocean. All of that fishy smell and taste will not be there. It is not the same at all. It is amazing. I feel so blessed with the abundance of fresh seafood here in Oregon and I'm really excited to share how we can cook and clean a crab very easily with you guys during this vlogmas episode. All right, so the first step is probably somewhat obvious, but you want to boil water. I've got two pots going at one time so I can try to get as many done as I can. If you get one of the big giant crab boiling pots, it is much better but because I am actually boiling these at my Portland house instead of our beach house, um, I'm doing two pots that I can do one crab at a time in. One thing that I do recommend is that you boil your crab in salt water. It is super important. I like to use sea salt water. You can use any kind of sea salt or I like the pink Himalayan salt just because it has more added minerals in it and it's really, really healthy for you, but it's gonna add a lot of flavor to your crab that will give it more of that ocean taste. But if you are somebody who did catch it from the ocean, I actually even more so recommend that you use the water that the crab itself lived in. So if we caught these crab at the beach and boiled them and ate them there, we probably would fill our crab pot with the ocean water and boil the crab in the water that we caught it in. If you do not have access to the water your crab was caught in, like I said, get some sea salt or some of this pink Himalayan salt and it's gonna taste delicious as well. So I'm just gonna salt the water. and bring it to a boil. Oh, and if you do happen to have to cook your crab indoors, you can do this on your barbecue grill, like on the barbecue burner. We just didn't have any more propane right now, so normally I actually would cook these outside because there will be a smell from cooking the crab. So turn your vent on so that your fan is sucking up anything and if you can open a kitchen window or something open the window because because crab smell although it won't be fishy because it's from the ocean it still has a crab smell oh my goodness that's loud i might have to turn it off just to do this video all right so once the water comes to a boil you're going to take your happy little crab oh my gosh this feels so morbid having this on camera it's how it's done hello um <laughs> you put them in the boiling water you put the lid on and then you're going to want to cook them for about 15 to 20 minutes no more no less all right let's put this in there this is not the fun part, as beautiful as he is. All right, for, so for the second guy, I will show you guys in the pot. Ah. Um, 
Um, one thing you'll notice that when they are cooked or when they are cooking, you'll see already right away his shell is starting to turn red. When it is completely cooked, his shell will be completely 100% red. This one's got some algae on them, but that will boil off. <laughs> And we are going to put that lid on. Like I said, 15 to 20 minutes, the shell of the crab should be completely pink. If you cook it too little, the meat will still be runny. Like when, if an uncooked crab has like a snotty uncooked middle, it's really gross. It won't be solid. You won't be able to eat it. And if you cook it much more than 20 minutes, unless you have like a really giant crazy crab, you're gonna have tough crab, which is not so good either. Once these crabs are finished cooking, we are going to pull them out of the pot, dump out the water, rinse it with cold water, even put some ice on it to get it cool again, and then for the cleaning process, I will show you in just a few minutes. All right, see how perfectly pink this guy turned out? If you have an ugly back utility sink like myself, I highly recommend you do this in your not so pretty sink. So sorry if my sink's not so pretty in this video. All right, so I'm gonna pour some cold water in here now to cool down the meat so it doesn't continue to cook. If you keep it hot, it's gonna keep cooking and you don't want it to keep cooking. It's even ideal to maybe add some ice if you have some ice. And I'm kinda, as I pour out the ice, and I'm just kinda getting out a lot of that like, oceany foam stuff. But I'm just pouring cold water over him. Now I am going to show you how to clean your crab and get the crab meat out of this little guy. Or big guy. <laughs> Alright, so you're going to turn the crab upside down and notice it has this kind of like tail here. And you're going to want to, let me zoom out maybe a little bit. I was trying to avoid you seeing my dirty sink, but you're going to see it. All right, so you're going to see this little tail on the bottom side of the crab. Go ahead and just pull that off. And then you're going to, this part's kind of gross, but you're going to just get your thumb and put it right underneath there. And you're going to rip the top of the crab completely off. And then you got your shell here. I just kind of put my waist back in the pot there and then I have a little plastic container to hold my crab meat as I get it. So there's going to be, you don't want to really eat any of that yellowy stuff right there, although some people do I should say, <laughs> but I prefer not to. I like to clean out most of the organs and things like that. But you're going to just take this crab right in the middle now and you're going to crack it in half. So you're going to have two halves of legs. You can kind of clean it as you go. You can use new water, you can use the same water. Sometimes it's nice to use clean water inside the skull here. These right here, these right here on the sides are the gills and you're going to want to take those off. Those are not crab meat, even though they look white like crab meat. And really everything from there on is edible. You can crack the crab legs open, you can eat the leg meat, which is what most people do. And inside the head, let me take all these legs off for a minute. Inside the head, it's sectioned into multiple pieces. I usually completely peel a few of these crabs just because my kids are not so clean at doing so, but you can kind of crunch the head a little bit. And inside the head, there's actually tons of 
nice meat. You just have to be careful of the shell. Look, look at that nice meat inside the head of the crab. So don't waste the meat inside the head. There's definitely some good meat in there. It's just in kind of hard sections. I just get my hand in there and start crunching it all so that I can just scoop it right out and it comes right out for me. As far as the legs go, you can do different things. I actually sometimes will just take the legs and I'll hit them really hard with a knife or something to crack them and then you could fry them in a bunch of seasonings and stuff so that you can cook the butter and the seasonings right into the crab or you can also just crack it open and eat it which I usually just break them apart by the joints and I know they make crab crackers but honestly just like squeeze it with your hands and break it don't be afraid to get your hands dirty a little bit Oop, there's a little bit of meat right there. Hold on. Let me get that good piece out for you. And look at that. That looks delicious. Yeah. Yummy. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Fresh crab from the ocean is so good. So I know this video is totally not a normal thing on my channel, but I think that's kind of the fun of this whole Vlogmas gig is that you kind of get a little peek into my day-to-day -day life. And this is something that we would do as a family. My husband loves to fish and crab and do things. And so we get a lot of things like this in. And so I am totally blessed with fresh seafood all the time and it's quite entertaining that I know how to crack and clean all these crabs and just enjoy the blessings of the ocean and the earth that the universe has brought our families away. So I'm really excited that I got to share a little piece of myself and my world and I'm really enjoying this whole vlogmas Thing. So love you guys lots and I will see you in the next Vlogmas episode. Happy holidays.